Sup, I just want to make this quick video on guaranteed two turn super awakening coin farming. Um, Mail Link has made it more accessible for everyone to two turn the coin map. So the team we're going to run for this is the one ultimate, Purgatory Meliodas, Gother, and Liz in the back. Liz is important because of the bonus damage passive on time maps. And for the gear, I'm running attack and crit set on Escanor and Meliodas, and they both have 15% rolls on their attack. I only have free to play cosmetics, and I leveled up the attack cosmetics for Escanor and Meli for this. Uh, Gother does not have their Holy Relic, you don't need it. I don't have an artifact card set either, so I just auto set it to attack. Make sure to, to use attack food though, because it's a pretty big help. Once we're in the battle, it's pretty straightforward. Turn 1, we use Gother AoE first. Then we Meliodas and Escanor AoE, since we want the damage boost on debuffed enemies. And then on turn 2, since we save Escanor and Meliodas' as single target abilities, we will use both of those. So with that, we need to draw any other Escanor or Meliodas card for the third card. It doesn't matter which one, they will all work. And I will show them on the screen now. One weird scenario that can happen is that you brick on Gother cards. If you are lucky to get an Escanor single target merge, you can rank him up, use a single target with Meliodas a single target, and that'll also kill. But this almost never happens. In 24 runs, I did not miss getting an Escanor Meli card. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, thanks for watching, and good luck with your Super Awakening coin finds.